So from the given question, which is uh, important to consider as part of our Venn diagrams, we are given uh, the probability that a person drinks milk is uh, 0 0,6. We are already given the probability. Then the probability that uh, the probability of drinking water of that same person is 0 0,3. The probability of drinking neither, meaning to say, neither milk nor water is 0, 0,2. Not part of milk, not part of water. It's 0, 0,2. Then calculate the probability of this. All right. Then you're given a both. There are two conditions here that you're working with. Drinking milk and drinking water. But we can have also a condition where the same person is drinking milk and also can drink water, which is this drinking both milk and water. So in that condition, it means we are going to need two subsets where there is an intersection because we can have two subsets without an intersection. But in this case, there is a, a condition of a both. All right? So let's see how it was going to look like. So we're going to have our sample space, which is uh, having two subsets. So we're just going to take the milk as M, then uh, water as W. So since there is an intersection that you're being asked, meaning to say, these two will intersect. So this is our milk. All right, let me just do this so that we can see this one separately. Uh, this, like this, all right? So this is our milk and this is our water. So that is the condition. So there we are given that. The probability of a person drinking milk, which is this part that we see in black, this one. This is our milk, this one. That's where we have got the 0, 0,6. The 0, 0,6, it's not here, this space here, no. Remember, this is milk only. They did not mention about milk only. So they gave a total of the milk, 0, 0,6. It's the whole of this part. That's where the 0, 0,6 is. The same thing with the water. They gave us 0, 0,3. The part here in green, this one, it is the water, this whole part. That's the 0, 0,3 that we are given. What about this part of both? Because this is affecting when the person is taking milk, and water here. Both. We do not know that. So let's call it X. So let X be both. Drinking both. Milk and what? Milk and water. That is X. So if we let X to be both, then we go back now to say, if the probability of drinking milk is 0 0.6, what about drinking milk only, the section that is remaining here, milk only? What are we going to do? Out of the 0 0.6, we must subtract this X, which is for both. We, we, just want, we, we, we just want milk only. We don't want anything that is to do with water. We want A only which has nothing to do with B. This is what we want. So out of what is in the milk, which is the 0, 0,6, the milk was also taking the water. It was, they were also there. So we must get rid of the X. So it is going to be 0, 0,6 minus X. Those ones that are found in both, they must be removed from those ones who are taking milk so that we see or we obtain the milk only this one it becomes milk only the same thing with the water we also need to know what about those ones who what about the condition of drinking water only 
0, 3 minus x for both. What about this 0, 2? The neither part. They have nothing to do with water and milk. It is outside. Nothing to do with water and milk. Which is what? The 0, 2. That's the neither part. So this indication helps us now to calculate x, which represents, remember we said let x, let, we introduced something which was not part of the question. So let x be both, so that by solving the equation, since we do understand that the probability of the sample space is always equal to 1, as long as you're dealing with the sample space. Thus, adding this, all right, so let's find a that's adding since the probability of the sample space is equal to 1. So we're going to take the probabilities. It's an advantage. They have already given us these as what? As the probabilities. So if we take this 0, 0,6 minus x, we add it to this x, right? Plus this x plus the 0, 0,3 minus x plus the 0, 0,2, which is outside. If we add everything, that's our sample space, the probability must be 1. So thus, we can solve for x because we have formed an equation. By solving for x, we are finding those, we are finding a continuum of taking both, right? So minus x plus x cancels. Thus, we're going to remain with what? Minus x. So let's add uh, the decimal part here, uh, 0, 0,6. Or you can just take it to the other side of the equation. So it's going to be 1 minus uh, 0, 0,6 plus this one, that's 0, 0,8 plus 0, 0,3, which is going to be 1, 1. So that's 1 minus 1, 1, which is minus x is equal to 1 minus 1, 1, which is minus uh, that's going to be 1, 1, which is minus 0, 1. Then divide by negative 1 by negative 1. That's x is going to be uh, 0, 1. So the probability of uh, having or taking both is going to be 0, 1. That's the condition here. Drinking both milk and water. So therefore, the probability... So, therefore, the probability of drinking both, drinking both uh, milk and water or water and milk, water and milk is a 0, 0,1, just like that. So, that is wherever we see uh, the x, it's 0, 0,1. So, meaning to say we can find this one. By subtracting, we can find this one by subtracting. All right, anyways, let us see. Uh, the other question is drinking only one of the two, only one of the two. Drinking only one of the two. We, which condition are, are, are we talking about there? Only one of the two. So meaning to say, we are considering where the two are. This is our condition. Drinking only one of the two. These two, milk or water. But it is only one. Remember, this is uh, 0, 0,3 minus x. So here it's only one. Only one. So it is a condition where we are working with the probability of milk only, which is M only the milk, and the probability of water only. Only one of the two. When the milk is constant, on its own, this one, 0, 0,6 minus X. Remember, we have got our X, which is what? 0, 0,1. So it is going to be 0, 0,6 minus 0, 0,1, which is 0, 
This one is 0, 0,3 minus 0, 0,1, which is 0, 0,2. So you're going to add uh, 0, 0,5. All right, you can even just calculate it aside here. Just see, I just wanted you to see uh, the portion. So this is uh, 0, 0,5 plus uh, 0, 0,2. The only part, only, only, B only, A only, only one of the two. You add them together. So that was uh, going to give us what? 0, 0,7. So this is uh, 0, 0,7. That is how these questions can be given as. All you just need is to work out as many questions as you can. Just try to, to figure out the information, how it is given. Try to figure out. Play around with your questions. Play around with the questions. So this is it, guys. Uh, till we meet again.